Clear Triage provides several options that let you change the amount of text and the structure of text that's within a call note that gets stored in your EHR. In this video, I'll show you what those options are, what their impact is on the call note, and how you can change them for your organization. So we'll start with this call. Mom's called, Allie has a painful sore throat with a fever. She's had it for two days, so we went through triage and arrived at the see today or tomorrow in the office disposition because we need to rule out strep. And we gave some care advice. When we're done, press copy and then go to the EHR, which in this case is GE centricity. I'll right click and choose paste. I have the assessment I typed up top, the protocol that was used in the disposition, the positive triage question, and a note that all higher acuity triage questions were negative, and then the care advice that was discussed. I'm going to start by showing you the options within the care advice. So in this case, we have the overall care advice that was discussed, the headings that were discussed, but not the individual details down below. So I don't have information about the specific reassurance I gave or the specific sore throat pain relief I gave, depending on Allie's age. Let's say I wanted to be able to capture that detailed information. To change the care advice options, go to the menu under your name in the top right corner and choose account settings. If you're in the middle of a call, Clear Triage will warn you that it's going to reset the call. So make sure that if this is a real call, that you first copy the notes into the patient's chart. In this case, it's just a test call. So I'm going to say OK. And then I'll sign in using my administrator sign in. The documentation options are in the bottom part of the account settings. And the option we're going to start with is how you want to document care advice. Right now, this organization is using the balance mode of documenting care advice. So it's documenting which care advice topics were discussed, but not the full text of those care advice topics. To record the full text requires using the detailed version of the care advice options. So I can make that change, press save, and the dialog tells me that if I've changed the documentation options, these changes are going to take effect the next time I sign in. So I'll press OK, go back to clear triage, and in order to see the options, I will sign out and then sign back in. Now, if mom called, Allie has painful sore throat, and so on, find the sore throat protocol, do my triage, arrive at that same disposition, and then select the care advice. This time, I now have check boxes so I can check which reassurance I discussed with the mom. And I can document that I specifically recommended hard candy or lollipops. And again, I can talk about the reasons to call back. I'll press copy, go to my EMR. I'll get rid of this text that we pasted in last time. And now when I choose paste, you'll see that in the care advice, I have that detailed information, the specific care advice that I discussed with the caller. There's one other option for care advice documentation, and that's a more concise version. Let's see what that looks like. So I'll choose account settings again. It's going to warn me once again that I'm going to lose that information about this particular call. And in this case, I'm going to try the concise care advice documentation. I'll save the changes, go back to clear triage, sign out so I can see these changes, sign back in, And again, I'll select the pediatric sore throat protocol. Select the same positive triage question. And now when I get to the care advice, there aren't individual checkboxes by each topic, 
but there are two checkboxes saying that I discussed appropriate care advice from the protocol with the caller and that I discussed the reasons to call back with the caller. When I'm done and press copy and go to GE Centricity, get rid of that sample call, and now when I choose paste, for the care advice there are just two notes that appropriate care advice from the protocol was discussed and that reasons to call back from the protocol were discussed. It's important to realize that these changes in the documentation options are not changing the care advice that you as the triage nurse are discussing with the caller. I'm still in this case going to reassure and educate the mom, talk about the hard candy or lollipops to relieve that sore throat pain, talk about the contagiousness, the expected course, the reasons to call back, What's changing is how I document that discussion. And that's a choice that you can make as a practice, as a clinic, as an organization. You'll want a policy as far as how you have chosen to document the care advice. And everyone in your organization will follow that same policy. The options that we're setting affect everyone in the practice. So it's important to get buy-in from the triage nurses, from the providers, from the rest of the care team that are going to use these call notes and decide what's the most appropriate documentation for your organization. So we've seen the three different options for care advice. Next, let's take a look at the two options that are available for documenting the positive triage question. We've been using one option where the nurse documents the triage process with a single checkbox indicating the first positive triage question. Let's go into the account settings. And you'll see the two options that are available for documenting the triage, the questions. Right now we're using the first positive triage question. There's also the possibility of indicating the positive and the negative triage questions that you used. And while I'm here, I'm gonna change back to the balanced care advice. I'll press Save Changes, get the reminder that I need to sign out and sign back in to see those changes. So when I go back to Clear Triage, I will sign out, sign back in. Mom called. Allie has painful sore throat. I'll get that sore throat protocol. And now when I go to the questions tab, you'll notice I have yes and no buttons in front of each question. So as I go through triage, I can indicate no on the pertinent negative questions. And yes, when I get to the first positive question. Select some care advice again. And press copy. And now when I go to my EMR, I will select this sample text, get rid of that, and choose paste. You'll see I have a different looking note. So I have that information, my assessment up top again, the question I used in the disposition. Now I have the positive triage question without a note that all higher acuity questions were negative because I actually have the negative questions documented in the note. So every triage question that I press no in front of is here. If I'd chosen only to press no in front of some of those, only those questions would be here. And then I have the care advice I discussed. So that is the yes and no version of the triage questions as opposed to the checkbox for just the first positive triage question. Those are the different documentation options available within Clear Triage and how you change them in the admin menu in the top right corner of Clear Triage. Again, they don't change how you do triage, they don't change how you give care advice, they change how it's documented in your EHR. So make sure to select the most appropriate documentation options for your organization.